As we've been reporting, Amazon Prime Day is upon us. The annual shopping event allows Amazon's 85 million Prime members to shop till they drop. The one area that the tech giant has yet to conquer is luxury. That is where London-based Farfetch would like to come in. The global luxury fashion online platform partners with hundreds of designers across the globe, allowing them to connect with over 1 million customers in 190 countries. Earlier, Bloomberg's Caroline Hyde sat down with Farfetch founder and CEO Jose Neves in London. She started by asking about the company's use of AI and how much of a role tech will play in the future of e-commerce. Absolutely. We, we use um, a lot of data. We, uh, as a marketplace and as a platform, we, uh, we have more data than, than uh, really any, anyone in, uh, in the industry. So, um, uh, so we are able to leverage that data, both in terms of the way we do marketing, so uh, being more uh, targeted and, and more efficient in terms of online marketing, uh, but also in terms of how we personalize the experience for, for the user. Um, and that will be, um, that will be a, a key, um, unique competitive advantage uh, if we're able to, to really seize that opportunity in the future. Marketing, where do you look? Is it social media based? Is it the customers that already come to you? What, what do you find works the best? Um, like everything these days, it's everything. It's a mix of everything. Um, uh, we, we do um, mostly digital marketing in terms of uh, money spent. Uh, but um, and that's across all platforms, uh, both the Western world platforms, the Facebooks, the Instagrams, the Googles um, of, of this world, um, and, and obviously the regional platforms, the uh, you know WeChat, ten, the whole Tencent universe, um, Yandex in Russia, etc. So, uh, so we really have a global um, digital marketing capability, and um, that was developed um, obviously over the years. Uh, but things like PR and comms, they, they are are becoming more and more important actually so there's there's this um, irony that um, you know uh, PR and comms as, as uh, probably the the, the, the marketing's um, oldest art and, and science uh, is coming back as uh, as a vital part in the digital companies positioning and strategy um, so it's, it's really across um, all channels when you are looking at the competitive landscape how do you assess it who are your rivals as you see them who are becoming them uh, so we, we are a platform company so we're not um, a retailer we don't hold any inventory so we really do not compete with any, with any retailer be it a department store or even an internet pure digital retailer they they could be partners of uh, farfetch and sellers on on the platform you know, some of them already are um, so our competitors um, are, are really the, the platform companies that um, that are um, uh, addressing consumers uh, some of them um, already massive in the in fashion and luxury fashion, uh, if you take Instagram, uh, for example, if Instagram will have a buy button with the logistics and customer service back and um, there would be a, a hell of a competitor. So we, we look at ourselves as, as a platform uh, technology uh, driven business with the community ethos uh, behind it. And, and so that's where we see the competition coming from. When you look at Amazon getting into every sort of industry group and many are wondering where it goes next. Do you ever see them being a real force to reckon with in luxury? Um, you never know with Amazon, right? <laughs> so um, it, definitely it's, it is a, a large category globally. Amazon are very successful in fashion. They, they're now um, one of the top um, fashion um, retailers or sellers um, uh, in the US already, even, even compared with brick and mortar uh, companies. Um, so they've been very successful in fashion. Uh, luxury, uh, however, has an emotional um, and a static uh, component, uh, which I don't think Amazon has cracked yet, and this is the reason. Um, um, and it, in my view, um, it has to be part of the DNA and the culture of the company. Otherwise, it's very difficult to, to steer uh, what is a, a transatlantic cargo ship. Um, but uh, it's definitely always um, a company that, that executes uh, immaculately, and therefore we need to, to keep an eye. What about, therefore, Brexit. Did it affect you at all? Has it affected the business? Has it affected the source of talent here in the United Kingdom for you to, to be able Well, to um, not yet in terms of the, the pool of talent. Um, in terms of the macro um, 
variables of the business. It, it really doesn't have a major impact on, on Farfetch uh, because we're completely global in terms of trading. Supply from 40 countries going to 180. So, so whatever happens in one part of the world is compensated by, by another. So uh, that is um, relatively uh, controlled, at least for us. For other businesses, it will be a bit more complicated. The talent um, and people part is, is obviously where we're a bit more worried. Uh, but it, it all depends with, on the government policies, and we hope that the UK government um, will, will keep the, the doors open to talent.